Now one thing that 2011 brought was a record amount of first person shooters. You had Killzone, you had Bulletstorm, Resistance, another Call of Duty. It's ridiculous to think that that many people play these kinds of games. But I did. I ploughed through a whole lot of them. And I dug through them until eventually I came across a title that I thought stands on its own two feet pretty well. That game, Crisis 2. I only briefly played the first Crisis back in 2008. But what I saw seemed pretty amazing. Skip forward a couple of years and you have this science fiction shooter sequel and fans were ready to stomp and shoot their way through a destroyed Manhattan. Its potential and awesome graphics have brought a lot of buzz surrounding this shooter by Crytek and EA. So let's have a look. Holy cannoli! Whatever people expected with Crisis 2, they got, and some. Whether it's climbing through the urban jungle, shooting aliens, or delving into the story, there's a lot to love. Carrying on from the first Crisis, we take control of Alcatraz, a marine whose team is ambushed underwater by an unknown force. Soon, Prophet steps in in his kick-ass suit and saves him, only to give him the suit and to carry on his legacy. The plot can be confusing at times, but it's full of twists and surprises. But the main focus is on the action, and there's plenty of it. The story is mainly told in the loading screens, which help keeps the rhythm flowing, and the interface and uh, menu screens are very accessible. With little loading times and simple controls, Crisis 2 is a very sleek shooter. Running on the new CryEngine 3, Crisis 2 is probably the best looking shooter on console. Everything from smoke to lighting to explosions and character movements is incredibly well done. Loading your gun or looking over the vast destroyed New York City, you'll spend a good portion of your time just looking around. And as much as there is happening on screen, you'll rarely see a drop in frame rate or glitch. Crytek have demonstrated just how awesome their new engine is here. Walking down the main streets is a marvel at first, not only are the palette of colours beautiful, but you'll definitely feel like you're in a war zone, with ships flying overhead, destructible environments, and huge enemies standing in your way. It gets pretty intense. Special mention must go to Crisis 2 sound as well. Every pop and bang of your guns is incredibly realistic. The aliens sound unique, and the voice acting isn't too bad either. Some dialogue can be a bit so-so, however. Finish it off with a great score by Hans Zimmer, and you've got a game you'd like to be seen in public with. Way I'll be in touch. All units, Prophet is heading north. For as soon as you step into the suit, you certainly do feel powerful. Crisis 2 is a unique shooter that focuses on strategy in its gameplay. Your suit has three modes, agility, stealth and power. And before many a battle, you can sit back and plan your attack. Are you going to flank your enemy, sneak up invisibly and drop them one by one, or are you just going to armour up and destroy everything you see? It's a great option that keeps the gameplay rich and enjoyable. The shooting itself is realistic as you feel every kick of your gun and the thud of hitting the ground from a high fall. Enemies are particularly smart as they keep in cover and out of your sight, and you also have some vehicles which you can drive and wreak havoc with. Upgrades for weapons are achieved through collecting enemy dust and you, it helps customise how you play. There's a lot to keep you entertained. Then there's the multiplayer. With 6 vs 6 games, loads of ranks and unlockables, it's enjoyable in its own right. But still, in my opinion, pretty similar to most other first person shooter multiplayers. pretty obvious that Crytek have thrown pretty much everything they could into this game and then they tied a nice little silk bow on top of it and they've given us pretty much the best shooter of 2011, well I would say. I mean whether it's the intense battles, the beautiful graphics or the intriguing uh, science fiction storyline, there's a lot to get through in this game and it's just a blast. So I'm going to give this game 9.47 out of 10.01.